The next episode of The Owl House is guaranteed to be the craziest one yet. We have just been given an official synopsis for it from Disney and the synopsis gives us way more detail than the IMBD one did that I covered a few weeks ago and it's gotten me even more excited for the episode guys. The synopsis says that Luce and her friends race against Bellows to confront the Collector and save the Boiling Isles. The Collector is definitely at the centre of this episode and we will probably be getting the most character development for him than we've ever gotten before. I even saw a of images from the upcoming episode showing what looked like the collector's mind so we'll definitely be getting a lot of information on him like where he's from and how he ended up in the boiling aisles also just given the fact that the collector made king his new best friend and has always wanted to play games with king but king's dad trapped the collector away and hid baby king from him makes me believe that we will be seeing a lot of the collector and king together in the episode and as we find out more about the collector's backstory we will also be finding out more about king's backstory as well and more specifically King's dad, the Boiling Isles Titan. There will most definitely be a big fight against Bellows, but this will probably take place near the end of the episode or at the beginning of the last episode because based on the synopsis, the first thing that is going to happen is that Luce and her friends will race against Bellows, so they won't necessarily be fighting him just yet, but they will definitely be taking him down later because Bellows was and still is the main villain in the show. During this race to the Collector, I assume they will have to face a bunch of other challenges on the way, like the Titan Trappers, just because the IMBD synopsis said that they would have bigger and stronger problems to face when they got back to the Demon Realm. Emphasis on the problems, guys, as in plural, as in they will have more than one, like, oh gosh, I just hope these kids stay safe and that we don't get another Flapjack scenario. So both the Hexide Squad and Bellows are trying to get to the Collector and confront him, but obviously for very different reasons. The Collector, as we know, is very powerful and has probably been running whatever has been going on in the aisles during the time skip and Luce and her friends need to confront him because he's probably holding everyone hostage to his love of games and most importantly King is his best friend now so they will need to save him from the son of the stars. And then we have Bellows who also wants to confront him which makes me scratch my head a little because does he have memory loss or something? Does he not remember what the collector did to him in King's Tide? Like dude was literally flicked and splatted like a booger. I think he wants to confront the collector and perhaps manipulate him in a different way, kind of like what he's been doing before throughout the whole show, but now he'll have to try a different tactic because the collector is now not fond of him anymore. He is a godlike being with trust issues, and that is not someone Bellos should mess with lightly. Bellos may even have to go to the extent of lying to the collector that the Hexide Squad and King made him betray him. There is probably something that only the collector has or knows about that Bellos can take advantage of to destroy all witches, the boiling owls, and obviously he will try and backstab the collector too and get rid of everyone. Luce and her friends will have to try to get to the collector first to get him on their side and use his knowledge or power to save the isles and this is where the collector could have some sort of redemption arc because he isn't really a villain he's just easily swayed and just so happened to be working alongside the most evil character in the show up till now i think bellas will reach the collector first though and persuade him to play another game and once he has whatever he wants which i assume is enough power to destroy everyone he will then betray the collector and this is when the collector will have to join forces with the hexide squad i am pretty sure whatever it is Bellos once will have to do with the Titan of the Isles because there is that whole theory that Bellos wants to use the Titan's powers as his last resort and the Collector probably knows the most about Titans out of everyone in the show because think about it he has been around for a very long time and we know that he was around when Titans were still alive because he had at least one encounter with an actual Titan which was King's dad who is now the Boiling Isles and from what we know they probably had a battle as King's dad tried to get the Collector trapped in his shadow prison and the shadow form that we see for most of the show. The Hexide Squad will most likely have to play some games with the Collector to prove themselves worthy of his trust and have him on their side to save the Isles. I'm hoping we get to see them play the Owl House game that they made up in King's Tide. This synopsis is definitely giving a season finale type of vibe and I think this will be the most action-packed episode where Luz and her friends have to try and save the Boiling Isles, which they will definitely end up doing because the synopsis says that they are racing to confront the Collector and save the Isles, but they will have a lot of battles to go through before they save everyone. Since we got to see what the kids were up to in the human realm i imagine we will also get some flashbacks on what happened in the demon realm during the time skip as well as some of the characters giving explanations to the kids my predictions is that this episode will be the most shocking and the last episode will be a bit calmer and might be the most emotional one where things like character arcs relationships and of course the storyline are all being rounded off gosh even talking about this is making me emotional i am not ready for this show to come to an end comment down below what you think will happen by the end of this new episode airing in january and what you're hoping to see most in the episode 
episode. I personally want to see human and demon realm mamas Camilla and Ida meet for the first time and even though this is a stretch I want to also see the collector's family if he has any when we learn more about him. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss one of my videos. Thanks for watching guys.